everybody, it's Bruce Tucker here with Berkshire Hathaway and Allie Bills with Intercap Lending. We're here today to tell you some great information that uh, we just have brought up in the, in the marketplace. You know, one of the things we get uh, asked all the time as a real estate agent is how's the market? And of course, every real estate agent out there says it's wonderful and it's a great time to buy or a great time to sell. And, you know, sometimes as a consumer, you know, somebody who owns, home, owns property and owns a home, I sometimes think really is it a good time to buy? And really, honestly, we, we come up with some ways to maybe share that with you because sometimes I'm always like, show it to me. So with the help of Intercap and Alley Bills, they've created a great graphic that we're going to be sharing with you today. So um, we took it from the perspective of what's the average sales price, around $500,000 in the marketplace. And so we just want to share with you why we think in today's market, it's better than it was last year or even earlier this year, 2022, and maybe how it'll be better now versus as the market you know, comes back out of uh, this normalization and, and gets better. So, yes. Allie? Yeah, so we're excited to share this because we feel like it's a really hard thing to educate. We keep telling, like Bruce says, it's a great time to buy, but you guys don't always know why. So we want to kind of show you the numbers so that you can look at it and then decide for yourself if it really is the best time to buy. And if you have questions, you know where to find us. So as you can see on the graphic shown, we're going to start with a $500,000 purchase price. And in March of 2022, we were looking at about eight to 12 offers per home. That's gonna drive competition. And what we saw was not that house values increased, but the cost of the purchase increased. So people were asking on average or paying on average $35,000 more than the appraised value. And that's out of pocket. That is your good hard earned money. If we fast forward and we just kind of do a side by side on that 500,000, we have one offer on the table right now and sometimes none. We feel like sellers are sitting a long time and it's not selling in five days and it's scaring everybody. Next thing you know, it's 30, 45. We just don't have the competition because of these rates and the fear that comes with that. So now sellers have not only dropped their price, keep in mind the value hasn't dropped. They've just dropped their prices back down and they're offering cash to close. So now we're seeing on average that you're purchasing a home $25,000 under value and you're getting some cash from the seller. So we go from a $535,000 purchase price to a $475,000 purchase price. So that makes it a lot more affordable as, as far as the price of the home and it probably gives you some equity setting, sitting there instead of going in with negative equity, which people don't consider when you pay over value it might take you 10 years before you have equity in that home. So just keep, keep that in mind. So if you put 20% down on both of these properties, you're gonna save $12,000 off the lower purchase price today. And your loan amount obviously is gonna be quite a bit lower. Now, everyone wants to know what's the interest rate and what's my payment. So in 22, we had a payment on a $500,000 purchase price of 20% down of $2,012 and you're looking at about a 3.875 interest rate, maybe a little more or less depending on credit. Now we would be at a 6.875 fixed rate, keep that in mind, and that payment is $2,496 or about $484 a month more. Now let's go back and look at the money that came out of pocket versus saved. Cash out of pocket, $12,000 less today because the down payment was $12,000 less. The cash over appraised value, you're saving $20,000 out of pocket on average. And we could even go up to that 35 if we wanted to, we're being conservative. And the seller is actually offering on average right now, 15 to 20,000 on a home this size. And they can give up to 3% or even seeing that, which would be the 15,000. So, we are saving about $44,000 cash out of pocket. So if we're sitting at that 6.875 interest rate and paying $483 more a month, but we're saving $44,000 in cash, not only does that allow some of us to get in a home that couldn't before because we weren't liquid, but we also are saving about seven and a half years on that money. You're going to refinance within the next two years if you buy now. I personally believe within the next year, you're going to refinance. And so that is a ton of money saved. 
that 12 months at a $500, $400 payment, you guys are going to be paying under $6,000. And so you still have a net savings of 38 grand out of pocket by the time you refinance. Something to consider there. The other really cool thing right now is that you're hearing all of these conversations about a 2-1 buyout. And I'm not going to go into great detail on that, but instead of a 6.875 interest rate, we are getting people a 4.875. We're using the seller money to prepay the interest for two years to get a lower interest rate because we really believe you'll refinance within two years from the time of purchase from today. And like I said, I believe it'll be 12 months. So in that time, you're not only going to save that cash that we just talked about, you won't be paying 483. You have a lower purchase price and you're at a four and a half interest rate. So now your payment's probably gonna be the same or within $50 as it was during COVID. And so the point we wanna make is there are options available for you right now that the national news doesn't want you to think about or believe in at all, but it is a great time to buy when we talk about cash being king and being liquid being really important. So let's fast forward as the market starts to shift and Bruce talks about we're going to come out of this normalization we've kind of been used to and it slowed down all of a sudden rates drop people get excited about that it drives up competition so now do sellers need to drop purchase price probably not do they need to give seller credit probably not before rates went up it had been a long time since sellers were getting cash to close and cash is key we want money in our pockets so we want to make sure you guys are educated on the true benefits of buying right now. And if these rates change sooner than later, the competition's going to go up. And although those rates look pretty, you are going to be paying a little bit more cash out of pocket. So one thing we're trying to do to help people feel a little more motivated, if this doesn't motivate you enough, is that if you get into a home between now and March 30th, of 2023, we will do a free refinance. We call it a free fi. And that's a new word. That free is a fi. new word. Yeah, yeah. That forever. it's catchy. Yeah. Um, at Intercap, if I do your purchase, come back with Berkshire, I'll do a free refinance. You have two years to do that refinance. Again, I think it'll be within 12 months, and we will take care of you at a no cost refinance because that's a fear for people. Yeah, I'll come in at the higher rate. It will be a higher payment, maybe, maybe not with the two-one buy down. But then I have to refinance and I have to add that fee onto my loan. We will help take care of that. Talk to you about how that can be a free buy for your future. That's great news. So as you can see, uh, there are a lot of alternatives out there in the marketplace. Don't let the national news scare you away. This may be the best time to purchase um, and sell your home and purchase. If you need help. Please reach out, reach out to one of our expert realtors and also Allie Bills here at Intercap Lending. We'd love to help you out.